Well, thank you, Max. And what an honor it is to be up here. Thank you for having me today. So I do have a few words, uh, and I know that the reality is I'm the one standing between you and our keynote, Ed Begley Jr. And that is a really tough place to be. Um, we do want to give him time to eat, though, so for that reason, I would like to share with you a few items and elaborate a bit on what Max shared. So my name is Heather Harris, and I am uh, the co-chair, along with Dr. Joy Siegel, for this year's conference. On behalf of Joy and I, we, act we welcome you and thank you for supporting the annual conference. This year's title, Enlightenment on the Path of Aging. We hope that you leave today feeling empowered and, it, and inspired to go home and take little pearls that will make a difference in each one of your lives. We all know the saying by Maya Angelou, people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. So although I hope you don't forget what I said today or what is said today, the goal is that you leave today feeling empowered and enlightened, that feeling, and that you walk away from today's event inspired to make changes that will improve your quality of life. So what is your why for being here today? Is it that one of your friends or your colleagues simply asked you to join them for a fascinating discussion on enlightened aging? Or that you are in a naturally aligned profession or a healthcare advocate for yourself or a loved one, or that you're in search of more exciting ways to age. For me, one of my biggest motivators is my why is my sanity. I am in what's called the sandwich generation. I'm an older parent of three littles, ages 11, seven, and four, and the caretaker of my 86-year-old mother-in-law. My husband and I work full time and we straddle care for the family on both sides, usually at the expense of care for us. And we know that we need to do better, but we need help. So that brings me to the first slide. So the mission and vision of the Alliance for Aging. This isn't anything new to the committee or to the board of directors or those that work for the Alliance or those that are partners. But I do want to take the opportunity to call out that the vision, mission, and goal of the Alliance align with the needs of the majority of the families in some form or fashion. Another one of my favorite sayings is, everyone you meet is fighting a battle you know nothing about. Be kind, always. This quote seemed appropriate as I was reviewing the mission and the vision of the organization. I expect that everyone in this room can agree that being valued within our communities and the pursuit of a solid quality of life is critical for families and the community. There are many of us, me included, who could use the additional support and guidance. And for that reason, I'm delighted to share with you some of the many programs and initiatives and offerings that the Alliance makes available to all. As Max mentioned, the Alliance for Aging has several ways that the organization commits to serving families and the communities that you may not be aware of, and these are accessible by the community to all. To highlight a couple that have a direct interaction with families, the ADRC, Aging and Disability Resource Center, many resources are available to families and the communities, such as congregate and home-delivered meals, legal services, transportation and utility payment assistance, just to name a few. Next, we have SHINE, as Max mentioned, serving health insurance needs of elders. This is a free program that provides impartial counseling to seniors and young disabled individuals. Everyone's aging, right? Doesn't matter how old you are. So regarding Medicare coverage options, so volunteers can assist in completing financial assistance program applications. They can also help conduct educational presentations on Medicare. And then next up are some of the additional programs and initiatives that the Alliance for Aging lead and support that cover a plethora of topics and needs of anyone who's aging. That would be all of us. 
So the Alzheimer's Disease Initiative, Veterans Directed Care Program, Hospital to Home, Living Smarter, Aging Smarter webinars. Susan Holtzman, I don't know where you are. That's your baby. Thank you so much for your help with that. And many, many more. So, next slide, yep. So I would be um, remiss and be a terrible board of directors member and conference committee member and volunteer if I did not take this opportunity for a shameless plug and ask each one of you to consider getting involved at an even greater level. As you can see, there are many areas of opportunity that would benefit from your involvement, committees, volunteers, donations, providers, collaborators, and much more. So wrapping up, I want to take the opportunity, though, to thank the many sponsors for their ongoing and continued support and partnership. Next slide, please. There we go. Thank you. So thank you is an understatement for the support of the sponsors that barely fit on this page, many of which managed a Herculean task of providing support both in October of 23 and then now, May of 24. We needed to move the conference back to its original pre-COVID timing, and we thank you for all that you did to make this a reality. We especially want to express our gratitude to the silver, gold, diamond, and platinum sponsors, Florida Pace Centers at Miami Jewish Health and Mount Sinai Medical Centers as silver sponsors, FPL, Independent Living Systems, Florida Community Care and Florida Complete Care as gold sponsors, Baptist Health as a diamond sponsor, and AVMED as the platinum conference sponsor. Thank you, may you get a round of applause. So, give you something to think about for the next couple of minutes. As you're thinking about next year's sponsorship level, you might be interested to know that one of the items included in the Platinum Sponsorship Package is the opportunity to introduce the conference keynote speaker. As a Platinum Sponsor, and for this conference, that is the opportunity to introduce Ed Begley Jr. I would like to bring up Candy Sickle to make this introduction. And as I mentioned, Candy, it's just the two of us standing between uh, Ed Begley Jr. and the rest of the team. Thank you, Heather. Thank you so much. <laughs>